the past is gone. The future is yet to come. Get it. I'm proud because I was born in Africa. The black color of our people and the food, which represents our cultural heritage. Sarah Lee Kenya Limited is a subsidiary of Sarah Lee Corporation, which has its headquarters in Chicago, USA. The corporation is a global manufacturer and marketer of high quality brand name products for consumers around the world. In Kenya, uh, Sarali Kenya operates a manufacturing plant which is based in Nairobi. We employ about uh, 120 uh, members of staff and uh, sell our products into about 13 countries in this region. Some months ago, a unique customer reward competition dubbed Kiwi Kick to the African Beat was launched in Kenya primary schools with the view to building excitement around the forthcoming World Cup Soccer Championship in South Africa in 2010. Kiwi has identified school-going children as our core target market. And in line with this, one of the primary things we, we believe in as Kiwi is talking to our children, children when they're young. We got the topic about the Born in Africa theme and we were told it was an open theme. And we talked to the children with the collaboration of some of my colleagues. And um, we talked about the, what, is, what, what is rich in Africa and what they appreciate most in Africa and why they appreciate it and put it in writing in their own thoughts. What I actually wrote about was how uh, the way Kenya got its independence, the way Kenya got its flag, the way the, the national anthem was composed, and how different people contributed to it. The Kiwi born in Africa reminded me of the love that I have for this land, the passion that I have for our motherland, where I was born and where I'm growing up. As you know that the World Cup is coming soon, we'll see many stars, but still, we know that the Africans came from here. We know that many of them were kicking soccer balls, but now they're shining abroad, be it in Europe, be it in South America, but they're making us proud. And so we are getting back to our roots, knowing that they're really doing us proud wherever they may be. After submitting their works, they were judged by a panel of adjudicators from various educational and career backgrounds, including the Ministry of Education. We're judging the born Africa talent search, and we got uh, such an overwhelming response here, as you can see, uh, more than uh, 1,500 uh, scrapes, actually. We identify that uh, school children are very strong and love sports and also love dance. And so we felt that uh, the coming World Cup offered us a great opportunity uh, to actually enable children to display some of their soccer skills and also introducing the element of dance within those skills and that is how the kick to the African beat actually came about. It was the time for participating schools countrywide to translate the theme in terms of inspiring creative performances based on four parameters namely Africa the motherland, the unique African culture, importance of education in African community and the role played by Kiwi in participants lives. In the briefs the schools were required to form a team of nine pupils and translate the stories into an inspiring performance incorporating rhythm, music, soccer kicks and tricks. We are very much determined that uh, with their determination and with the assistance from their teachers, they are going to make it to the, let's say, top three. The other factor that influenced the pupils in their essays is the unique African terrain characterized by a rugged and mountainous topography not to mention the abundant wildlife. But it was the Kiwi shoe polish connection that livened their stories with majority admitting that Kiwi really gives them a new shine every day, making them proud to be African. So who will be the lucky winners? Time will tell. <laughs>